Hey there, it's Tara from Raw Food Living, and today I'm going to be in the kitchen making a smoothie with you guys. This is my breakfast, and I want to talk about some important things that have been going on in my life about uh, body image and self love mostly. Okay, so I am coming to you right now from a kitchen in a harbor. I am on campaign with Sea Shepherd right now, and that's pretty much all I can say. Uh, if you've watched a couple of my last videos, you'll know that I'm living in a camper van currently with like six or seven other people. Uh, but luckily we have access to this building where I can film some videos and also make some food. So I just wanted to make a more casual style video today. Uh, just talk about some things that have been going on in my life and things that you might be able to relate to while making my breakfast smoothie. So I'll tell you a little bit about the ingredients that I'm making. This is a warm breakfast smoothie. Sometimes I actually have frozen smoothies even in the winter time with frozen fruit, but right now I don't have access to storage with a freezer, uh, freezer storage, so I am just making a warm smoothie. It's one I've been making for years. It's super, super sweet because the primary fruit in it is dates. Um, it's sweet and also a little bit fatty, so it's really creamy when you blend it up. Anyways, it's really good. So the first thing I'm gonna put in the blender is a small handful, I'll show you here a small handful of cashews. I won't be able to zoom in because I have the manual focus on me right now, but it's a small handful of cashews, about that big. So I'm gonna pour them in the blender. And I was doing yoga this morning, uh, thinking about something that I have struggled with for most of my life, and it is being self-critical on my body. Um, so for most of the time I've been eating raw, I found it really easy to eat raw. In Canada, I had access to all this amazing fruits and vegetables, uh, access to a vehicle so I could pick up cases of fruit at a time. And I found that that has kind of changed since I came to Sweden. I've just had some difficulty. Like I've, I've lived in a tiny home with very little storage for fruit. And I also haven't had access to a vehicle, so getting cases of fruit just hasn't been an option for me. And for the first time since beginning my raw food journey, I felt like I am, or I feel like I am struggling a little bit when it comes to eating raw. I'm not used to this feeling and I, I just, I kind of want it to go back to being easier. Uh, but I find that with the cold here and the access to fruits and veggies and the quality of fruits and veggies and the lack of storage, having to walk an hour to the grocery store to get my food, it's kind of all contributed to me sometimes making choices uh, in regards to the food I eat, still vegan of course, but other choices, eating cooked food and things that I, I usually wouldn't want to eat and don't really feel that good eating, um, I've ended up making some of those choices. So I haven't really been feeling my best and I've also been super self-critical. Uh, the self-love journey is not one that has come easy to me because I have, I don't know, pretty much for my whole life been critical of myself. Like when I was dieting, back in my dieting days and even even since I started eating raw, I've had this expectation that I have to look a certain way and that I have to be a certain way and that if I'm not a size zero, I'm not gonna be able to inspire people, you know? Like that that has been one of my biggest fears that there's all these people who make it look so damn easy and they're like, they, they look perfect all the time, they live these perfect Instagram lives and their body is perfect. Seems like everything is just perfect. And I'm like, I don't know if it's just me, but that is not how my life goes at all. Uh, and I just, you know, no matter what diet I've tried, no matter what raw food lifestyle I've lived, I just have not ever been able to be super uh, small and petite with like ripped abs. That's just, that's just not something that's ever happened for me. Um, and that's completely okay. But the problem is that I haven't felt like it's been okay like because I've been so critical and hard on myself. And I have these expectations that realistically, if I were to put these expectations on anyone else other than myself, I would think I was just being mean. You know, like if a friend came to me and said, look, I'm struggling a little bit in life and um, I'm not able to eat as healthy as I want to eat and I'm not able to get down to the size that I want to be, I would be compassionate. You know, if someone ever came to me with those worries or like a client, if I was coaching, I would be so compassionate with that person be like, look, it's okay. You don't have to fit into any size. You don't have to fit into any shape and it's okay if you're not eating perfect all the time because life is just not perfect. But for some reason, when it comes to myself, I have such a hard time doing that. Like I, I, it comes so much more naturally to, you know, look in the mirror the way my body's looking or uh, eat certain foods and feel like I am just not measuring up. Like I am doing something wrong, like I'm not good enough. And man, like I would never treat, I was thinking about it this morning while I was doing yoga, that I would never treat anyone else as poorly as I sometimes treat myself. And you know, I don't want to fight with my body. Even though I've fought with my body most of my life, 
I feel like I'm back in this place because I haven't been making uh, choices that have been as healthy as some of the ones I've made in the past just because of my circumstances. And sometimes I tell myself like, Tara, just, you just have to, you have to live the same lifestyle you've always been living. You have to eat raw, you know, you, this is how you feel your best. And the minute I kind of slide off of that, uh, I like slide off of the wagon, fall off the wagon. I, I'm so mean to myself. I really am. And it's, sometimes it makes me sad the way I treat myself, you know, like I, have all these crazy expectations of thinking like, no, you have to do better. Like, no, this is what you're doing right now, how you're living, the way you look, the way you eat, it is not good enough. You need to be perfect. And it's like, do any of you feel that way? Have you ever felt that way? I just feel like sometimes I get tired of my own bullshit. Like I get tired of the way I treat myself. It's almost as if, like if, if I saw someone else treating someone the way I treat myself, I'd be like, man, let up a little, lighten up, let offer, you know, because it's so critical and so demeaning and so judgmental sometimes. And yeah, sorry, I know this isn't like a super upbeat, positive video, but this is just something I've been dealing with. And I have been trying more and more to be compassionate with myself and to have understanding and to not put this, these unrealistic expectations and this, this expectation to be perfect on myself all the time, because it is so easy to fall back into those patterns. And I guess what I'm saying with all this is that even if you're on a journey of self-love and even if you look at someone's Instagram photos and their videos and you think that they've got it all figured out, most of the time, I guess I can only speak for myself, but I do not have it figured out. I don't have it figured out at all. Uh, sometimes I, I do, sometimes I feel great. And I feel like I'm really on track with how I want to be treating myself, uh, with how I want to be eating, with how I want to be looking. And then sometimes it nothing works out. Like it just doesn't happen the way I want it to happen, regardless of how hard I try. And I think, for myself, what I really want to start doing is being more compassionate with myself, being understanding with myself and, and understanding that if I'm in situations like right now when I'm on campaign, I know that I'm not always able to eat perfect and exercise as much as I want. And I think I just need to start being nicer to myself and treating myself like I would treat someone else in the same situation, you know, and just understanding that Right now, my priorities aren't exactly being 100% healthy because I'm here to help animals with what I'm doing right now, the work I'm doing, and that it's okay to fall off the wagon, that it's okay to slip up, and that it's okay uh, to not be perfect. And sometimes I find that it's really hard to say those things to myself because there's some part of the back of my brain that says, no, it's not okay. You still have to be perfect. You have this audience of people who are watching your videos. And if you're not perfect, if you are not an example for them, then you're saying that it's okay for them to eat unhealthy, for them to live uh, unhealthy or make unhealthy choices. And I feel like that's crazy. I feel like that has influenced so many of my decisions in the past. It doesn't anymore, thankfully, but I just, um, in the past, yeah, you've seen my, my video style grow over the years. In the past, I have definitely thought like, if I don't live up to this standard that I'm setting, like if I don't eat low fat raw, for example, or if I don't run all the time, or if I don't fit into this expectation, then I'm gonna let people down. And that has influenced so many of my decisions in the past. And I decided like a year ago, fuck this, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not gonna let these expectations that I set for myself that I think uh, other people want to see dictate my life choices anymore because it's exhausting to try to live up to an expectation that you don't even set for me, that I set for myself based on what I think you want to see. It's insane, it really is. Uh, I'm just gonna count my dates here. I usually put about 15 or, uh, Mazafati dates in my smoothie. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay. Um, so yeah, back to making my smoothie. This is something I do every morning, uh, even if I don't make the best choices, uh, you know, during the rest of the day, because of whatever reason, maybe I'm just tired. Sometimes I'm just tired from being on campaign or working too much and I just eat what's in front of me. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so mean to myself when I do that. Uh, but in the morning I always make sure I have a smoothie because it's what makes me feel my best. And I know that eating raw makes me feel really, really good. And I wish I could live on a beach and just drink coconuts and eat fresh fruit all the time and have access to the best fruits and vegetables and be able to buy fruit in bulk. And like, I wish that that was my life right now, um, but it's not, and that's just reality. I'm just gonna wash my hands off because I've got some sticky date mixture. So I'm sorry if this video has been a bit, or been a bit of a rambling on. I just feel like I want to be more real. I feel like in the Instagram world, in the YouTube world, there's all this perfection uh, being shown of like these perfect lives where everyone is living happy all the time. And to me, that's just not real anymore. And I also wanted to do those videos at some point, you know, in the past, but now I just, 
I, I don't want to be fake, you know, not saying I was being fake in the past, but I was trying to live up, up to my own expectations, you know, and I don't want to do that anymore. I would rather just be honest and real and talk about what's going on in my life. And even if it embarrasses me or even if I feel self-conscious, you know, like that's why I wore this crop top in this video today because it's something that I would have never done in the past because I would have been so self-conscious and I would have thought I looked disgusting, you know, and that is crazy. These expectations that we put on ourselves to fit in with this ideal of what we think is beautiful nowadays. And I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm so tired of fighting myself, of fighting my body, of looking in the mirror and being disgusted. For what? Because I don't fit in with some perfect societal vision of what a woman is supposed to look like. I'm so tired of that bullshit. And the thing is, is that it's not even society's pressure. It's because I've, I've put that pressure on myself. I only have myself to blame. And it's something I really, it's a pattern that I really just want to get out of. So um, now I'm going to put orange flavor or orange oil. I got this in California. It's from the States or Canada. I love this in smoothies. So I'll add it to the dates. I've added uh, about 15 mazapati dates in here, a small handful of cashews, the orange oil. And the last thing I'm going to put in here is, uh, is oat milk. Um, this is made in Sweden. I'm going to shake it up. I'm actually thinking of starting to make my own oat milk from home just to have a little less waste. Um, I drink this in my smoothies because it makes it really creamy, it fills me up, and it just tastes really good. Uh, but you can easily make oat milk at home or almond milk. I've just found that almonds here are super expensive in Sweden, so I don't want to make my own almond milk and have all that extra pulp and I have nothing to do with it. I feel like I'm wasting it by throwing it out. Uh, so I get this oat milk. So I put maybe two cups of oat milk in here, something like that. Usually a bit of water as well. I might add a bit of water. Okay, so that's it. And I'm going to blend it now. It'll be super thick and creamy uh, at the top anyways. It's gonna have all this foam. It's kind of like, it looks a little bit like a latte after you're done blending it. So I'm gonna blend this up and uh, have it for breakfast. It'll be so good. <sighs> Oh, perfect. Oh, I love the smell of this. Orange oil is the best in smoothies. So that's about how much smoothie it makes. It doesn't actually look like a lot compared to smoothies I've had in the past with like 10 bananas, uh, but it's actually really, really filling. You can actually mix it. Uh, what I used to do as well, or what I sometimes do, is blend the dates with some warm tea or hot tea. And it is so good, like with a chai tea or something, if you really want a warm smoothie for the winter time, uh, it makes it a lot more bearable to uh, drink warm smoothies in the morning instead of cold. So I'm gonna go have this for breakfast and I really just wanted to reiterate that if you ever feel like you're struggling, if you ever feel like some days, if you're on a journey of self-love, some days you just don't make it to a space where you feel love for yourself and some days life isn't perfect. Life isn't like an Instagram photo with a nice quote on it. If you ever feel like you are not enough because of that or you are failing somehow because of that, I just want you to know that that's not true. That's just, that's your mind telling you that, but it's not reality. It's not really real. It's not true. You are always enough, okay? And it's really easy to compare yourself to what people put online because it's their highlight reel. It's what they want to show you. They don't have to show you the struggles. So I just want you to know that you're not alone. If you ever feel like you're struggling, if you ever feel like you're not doing good enough or you're not enough, um, just please don't feel that way. Just, just try to think of it like I said before. If someone came to you with those same issues that you were having in your own life, how would you react towards other people? How would you treat someone else who comes to you with those same issues? Uh, probably, I would assume for most of you that you'd be compassionate. You know, you would, you would talk to someone about it and just tell them that they're doing the best that they can and be nice to them. So I guess my advice is, and I can take my own advice here, treat yourself the same as you would treat someone else in the same situation. Anyways, that's my video for today. Uh, if you guys want me to talk about real topics like this, let me know in the comments below if you like this style of video. I'm happy to talk about more real stuff because I don't want to make it look like life is perfect all the time. You know, sometimes it is. Sometimes life is great and everything goes perfectly, but not always. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and, and listening to this. I'm not sure I've really opened up like this before, so, but I really want to start doing it more and more. So thanks again, and I will catch you guys next time.